All right, let's do a quick sound check. See how that's going on. Yeah, it did sound good. Um, how's the music to you? Is that too loud? It's a bit loud in my ears. So I'm gonna turn that down right here. Let me know if that's uh, too soft for you or if you want it louder. Awesome. Hey, Chantilly and Danny, welcome to the stream. So, nature of code again today. I think I can just find it. 1.5. So I'm going this time for exercise 1.5. I did one before last time. That was uh, that was definitely a lot of fun. Let's see if I can find this. So this is the one we did last time. We sort of did this, but then I, I changed it slightly. Here we go, exercise 1.5. Create a simulation of a car or runner that accelerates when you press the up key and brakes when you press the down key. Yeah, I'm using the headphones. Well, I mean, the only really thing that the headphones give me is uh, I can listen to the music at the same time. Uh, so I figured today I wanted to listen to music. So that's, that's why I'm doing that today. Um, all right, so I want to make a Probably not a car. A runner would be awesome. Um, but it's probably going to be like a square runner because that's odd. I'm going to pause that. Um, okay, I'm going to create a square little runner, maybe a circle that just goes down the screen and then um, accelerates when you press up and decelerates when you press down. The basic things. If we have time, we might be able to play a little bit more with that. So. Nature of code, uh, chapter one, nature, exercise, five. So I want function love dot load function love dot draw and function love dot Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to have basically a screen, probably a black screen that um, I usually want to have the width. So 
width equals love dot uh, graphics dot get width get line width. Okay, uh, it's just sort of how I'm starting out here. What I want to say, I want to say that I want my circle guy. And the other thing is we are doing this thing with the vector stuff. So I do want to, I want to start off with the P vector dot Lua which means I need to go remind myself how that works. Z. I keep on forgetting because I'm not 3D. I don't need Z. But local. I can just do like local V equals X uh, V. Oh, yes, the set meta tables. Okay, so v dot x equals x x v dot y equals y. Oh, and then can't forget return v. So we can create our our little guy, um, the runner maybe. We can say runner equals. Um, I do need to load that in. Runner equals p vector new. Um, let's give him x of like 25 and y of height divided by 2. And this is really location. The runner will probably be another another class here. Can I duplicate this? New folder. No. Not exactly. Okay. So our runner, um, runner's gonna take a location, and I guess that's all that he need that our runner needs. So r dot location location return r. 
Okay, so location defector new, and then we'll just say runner equals. Oh, I need to bring in runner. Okay, pulling in the location, then theoretically I can just do runner dot runner colon draw. I'm not going to update right now. I'm just going to have it be still. Let's uh, let's make sure I can get this onto the screen and make sure I remember how to launch uh, Love Two D here. Okay, so I want to, what do I want? I probably want to put like a size in here. Maybe five. Um, I'll just make it white for right now. So I think I can do love.graphics.circle. Node is going to be fill. No, not file. Uh, let's see, then we're going to go um, self.x, self.y. Self.size. Okay, back, just normal segments. Right, I was using, uh, what was it called? Um, still getting used to the Windows development side. Um, it's there, the PowerShell. Attempt index global p vector a boolean value main blue a seven in function load. Okay, so location equals p vector dot new. Attempt to index global p vector. Uh, right, because I forgot the very end. I have to return the vector. Bad argument number two to circle. Expected number expected got nil. Uh, let's see. Runner fifteen. Uh, so self dot right because this is going to be self dot location. Okay, cool. So I've got my circle. So the idea is that when I press up, I want to accelerate the circle. Now eventually if I want like a world, but let's say I have a um, little obstacles that I have to jump over, then I will want, the circle doesn't necessarily move forward, but the world moves forward. So how do I want to do this? Um, I could say, I want like a line. 
that's going here. So in the world, let's draw Flappy Bird. Sort of. I mean, I'm thinking like an infinite runner um, type thing, which Flappy Bird kind of is. So I was I was thinking of just little obstacles. I guess it would be more like the T-Rex from the Google uh, Google browser browser when you have no internet. So I would love a horizon. Is it a line that I want? I haven't played it too much. Like, usually I play it for a couple seconds or so, and then I just say refresh and the internet's back. Um, let's see. Line. Draw lines between points. Okay, cool. So X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So uh, it sounds like I'm going to want new vectors. So I can um, draw horizon. Okay, so we can start with a local start location equals P vector new. Uh, so I want so start at zero and probably oh interesting. Um, let's start with height divided by two. I I think this is going to be right cut the uh, the circle in half, which is not exactly what I want. But I'm going to do this anyways. Uh, let's see. End location. Um, this is going to be width. Divide by two. And then I can just say love dot graphics.line start location uh, dot x start location dot y uh, end location dot x end location dot y I need you open um, I wonder if it'll be white by default. It is. Okay, and, and this is here. So I'm thinking that I do want to change this a little bit. If I say Okay, I have a runner, so height. Plus runner dot size divided by two. Okay, and my runner size equal five. Let's see if this does it. It's, it's not exact, so I see a little tiny bit of my little circle guy uh, underneath the line. Is the line like a couple pixels? Do I, it, can it not be divided by two? It doesn't need to like divide by two plus one or something like that. Uh, 
it's still a tiny bit over but I'm not gonna worry about that too much I will figure I'll figure out the proper math uh, later because I mean what would be really funny or not funny necessarily but what would be really fun is if I can figure out sprite sheets and create little um, a little character and then when I'm pressing when it's moving uh, it looks like it's running uh, but I haven't looked into sprite sheets with Lou at all yet so I have to have my world and then every once in a while we're going to draw in some kind of block and it's just going to come along and then when the block reaches the other side and goes off I can create another one I think I think that's a good idea So I wonder if I should create a block class. Um, okay, so the block is going to have the size. We can give it a uniform height for right now. So location. I don't actually know that I need to pull in location. Because as soon as it... I can basically say that when we initiate a block, it shows up on the right. Eventually, eventually I might even do random ones, but we can, let's pull in our vector though. Um, okay, so it's gonna be local vector equals acquire vector p vector dot new new okay what do I want here I want its x is going to be width plus like five to make sure it's off the screen and if I remember correctly this is going to be the top left of the uh, of the rectangle Um, the Y, so it, I need a, I need a height. Well, I have the size here. I can use that. Hey, Backlog, welcome to the stream. You try to come as George's guys, but Twitch won't let you verify your email address. Interesting. Is that because you've used your email address for Backlog Battles? Okay, so I'm going to need um, r dot, you know what, I want to change these r's. Oh no. Never mind, I'm going to keep them the same. 400 error, interesting. Well, 400 errors is saying that there's something bad with your information. But who knows what that is? That sucks though. At least you're able to come in as backlog still. All right, okay. So I want a height uh, equals, eventually I'm gonna want these to be random, but let's do 50 for right now. And r dot width equals 10. So here, 
here I can say art location p vector new width plus five. So make sure it's off the screen. I want to be at the halfway point, so it's going to be height divided by two minus r dot height. I think I did the math there right. And so I get my block, block.draw, and I want to say, okay, it'll appear like right here and start moving to the left. So this is going to be a rect uh, fill self location x self location y. I think it's then height and width. So self dot height. Uh, I need to verify now. It's a full rectangle. Uh, width first. Okay, so it ends up there, and then I am going to want some kind of move to the left. So function block move. And this is where it's going to get interesting because I'm going to want that acceleration rate uh, that I'm doing. But for right now, let's do just some kind of defaults moving forward. So we're just going to say self.location.x equals self.location.x minus, uh, I'm going to want dt in here. Let's do um, 15 frames per second times dt. Okay, so we'll bring in block, require block. Yeah, I don't take anything in. Okay, so I want block draw and update. I want block update. Nope, I did move. Let's see if that moves to the left. Uh, oh, I need to pass in DT. Hey, there's my block. Well, so interesting. So my circle, I got the math wrong. We're slightly too low on the line. The block is slightly too high. But it is moving. Okay, so that's that's cool. I can increase this by saying, I want you to move, for example, um, 60 pixels per second. But what I want this, this movement thing to be is us pressing forward and this thing, this number changes as it goes. So I'm probably going to have 
this be a number like pull in so I bring in DT I also want to bring in um, the acceleration rate Or it's rather, I'm just going to say speed. And this can be speed. And then I can change speed in update. Because if I say something like speed equals zero to begin with. Uh, but as I, as I press the up arrow, I want to have it move faster. So acceleration rate equals, and going through this, it looks like this is, this is going to be the exact same thing that I had up here. It's just, yeah, I'm not going to do like a parabolic uh, speed increase. I'm just going to do a basic, like it slowly increases, slowly decreases. So acceleration rate, let's do 15. I have no idea what number that is. And top speed should be equal to, I don't know, 100? So every time we update, we want to see, um, we want to see if we should move. I almost feel like uh, the runner should be the one caring about this. Like the runner should have the speed, acceleration rate, top speed. I can pass runner in to block move. Or I can pass the current speed. Okay, got it. So I can say runner um, update I don't think I, so runner doesn't have to care I don't think about the DT I'll just say runner update I don't need to pull these in right here Okay, so what I want to do is I want to say if the keyboard is the up arrow, so let's get is scan code down. Scan code. I believe it's. I believe it's as simple as saying um, up arrow. Okay, so if the up arrow is down, then here we're going to start saying things like r dot. You like these architecture choices? I'm learning. I'm getting better at, uh, at making these game architecture choices. Okay, so current speed equals zero. R dot acceleration rate equals 15. R dot max speed equals 100. So we're going to say, so if up arrow is here, then we want to increase the speed. 
But we also need to make sure we don't go above the max speed. So we also need to say if if self dot speed is greater than max speed, then speed equals max speed. Just in case I, I go above it. And this needs to be self. Okay. If some of speed is greater than, okay, else self dot speed equals self dot speed plus self dot acceleration rate end. Okay, so that's if the upper arrow is down, we're either going to move up or nothing's gonna happen at all. If we're down arrow, so then it's else, come on, go back there. Um, okay, otherwise, uh, if self.speed is less than zero, Then self dot speed set that equal to zero. Else self dot speed self dot speed minus. I'll just do acceleration rate and. Okay, so assuming I got this scan code right, I think this means that our speed will increase and down and, and not go above that. So in main, I pass runner dot speed. In fact, I can probably do this. I'm gonna pass runner dot speed times dt to move. This move no longer needs to worry about this. It's just going to be it's just going to be that. Okay. A lot of code. My block is now way off in the distance. Let's see if I did that correctly. No, I did not. Okay, runner Lua 32. Attempt to perform arithmetic on a global acceleration rate and no value. Okay, uh, runner 32. I forgot a self, didn't I? Yes. Anywhere else? No. Self E. Of course. Okay, well, it's not moving to begin with, so that's a good thing. So if I press the up arrow, uh, even if I'm holding the up arrow, um, nothing happens. So not, not exactly cool. Okay, so what I want to do here is I, in my runner, I want to just say, um, can I do print... Uh, is can cookie down? Can I say? So you have like love to keep pressed. Is there key 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 repeat? Okay, let's 
let's see. I'm looking for left uh, up arrow. Keypad. Oh, interesting hardware. Um, okay, so arrow. It's simply up. okay. Let's try that. Look at that. Okay, so able to move, move forward like that. And it does seem it, so. It, it is uh, accelerating, sort of naturally when I go. Um, there is a minor problem that I notice here. It's going backwards. Why is it going back? So when I let it go, it's reset. When I let it go, it's not. It's not starting. So if left keyboard is scan code. Oh, okay. So if scan code is down, I shouldn't do anything at all. Cars usually have reverse, feature not a book. Ha! If this is a car, I have a circle. It's not supposed, that the world is not supposed to be moving in reverse. Um, okay, so when I'm moving up, I want to accelerate. So I want the world to move towards me, but this is should not be an else this should be an else if uh love dot uh keyboard is scan code down down if speed is less than zero to this But I do want, oh, got it. Okay, hold on. If my speed is zero, if my speed is zero, well, because I'm wondering, Speed times dt. If my speed is zero, then it should be zero and move. It, that shouldn't affect it at all. So why is it minusing a number and becoming positive and moving to the right? I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure why. Uh, then okay, so else if then and expected to close function at line twenty one runner. This has an end. Okay, so is it else if one if like that? It is okay. Stopped completely. Cool. Okay. So I can now. Backwards is very slow. Right. Because I'm not allowed to go. I can go reverse. Which is interesting because didn't I tell it that if the speed is less than zero, then set the speed equal to zero? because it set the speed to zero after is count gun was down. So in between one of the updates, it set it to that thing and this didn't run. So it's almost like what I really want to do is I just want to just say, if the scan code is up, just be really simple about this. 
and say self dot speed equals self dot speed uh, plus acceleration rate. If the ski code is down, then self dot speed equals self dot speed minus acceleration rate. Uh, end that, but then I want to say if self dot speed is greater than self dot max speed, then self dot speed equals self dot max speed else if self dot speed is less than zero self dot speed equals zero and okay let's try this Self dot speed equals self dot speed minus self dot acceleration rate can make it negative without resetting it to zero. Yeah, I think it was. We can verify this, but I think that was because. Oh, well, that didn't like that at all. Okay, attempted to perform a trick on global acceleration rate. Ah, global. Self. Yes, I got it, I think. Okay, now if I hold down minus, no matter even if I like tap the button a lot, I can't go backwards. So I can only go forwards. Cool. Um, I do have a very slow maximum speed. Technically, however, this did solve the uh, uh, solve what I was supposed to do. I mean, it accelerates. That's that's cool, right? Uh, but let let's keep on going. I want to go faster. I want to say I can go to 200. What does that look like? A little bit better feeling. And it would be really awesome if I could jump. So let's see. In runner.update, if love keyboard is scan cone down, so it sounds like when I jump, I want, I almost want to do the same thing here. R dot, um, sort of jump rate, uh, anti-gravity rate. Um, I can use acceleration rate for this. Um, I can do R dot, max uh, jump height equals so I've got 50 I want to make sure I at least go let's go um, 100 to double to double the size of the blocks and then okay so I have If love dot keyboard no dot is scan code down space then okay so if I press the space bar then I want to jump okay so um, r dot Uh, jump height equals zero. So I'm currently at zero. This is kind of like the same thing here, where I'm going to say, hey, if I press the space, then self dot jump height equals self dot jump height 
plus self dot acceleration rate. Um, otherwise, um, well, basically, I could just say otherwise, I'm I'm falling. And so I can I can do that here. One interesting thing that I'm thinking about is that if I'm on the ground is the only time I want to jump it, unless I do want to be able to like hold the uh, the mouse button down and I can go up, like jump even on my way down. But I don't want to do that. So I might have to add more variables here, I think, to to track what the state of my jump is, like if I'm on the way down or if I'm on the way up. So when I draw my Y location one, I want to change that based upon the jump height. So it's probably going to be minus self dot jump height. And then Okay, so I press the spacebar. Now I can do, okay, I just press the spacebar. It's going to jump up and down, not necessarily. Of the keyboard. Okay, I might want to also do r dot jumping equals false. So that way I can say if love that keyboard dot in scan code down space I probably want to also now is just say like if love dot keyboard in scan code down space uh, is it and I want to say it's just the, the letter, the word and. And I'm currently, um, jump height. So I want to say if I'm not jumping right now, if I'm on the ground, which means my jump height is zero. Self dot jump height equals zero. Then, uh, then I just do self dot jumping equals true. Okay, so if scan kind of space. So if I press the space and my jump height is so I'm not jumping at all. I wonder if I should also do and self dot uh, jumping false. Set to true. And then, I can now say if jumping equals true, so if self dot jumping, then self dot jump height, some sort of acceleration rate, So I'm on my way up.
when I get to the top, so then I can say if self dot um, jump height is greater than max jump height self dot max jump height. Then uh, I simply want to say self dot jumping equals false. Okay. So if self dot jumping is true, we're going up. So I think I can say now I can say, hey, if we're not jumping, but we're in the air, we want to fall. So if self dot, uh, let's see. If not self dot jumping and self dot jump height is greater than zero, uh, then I want to say self dot jump height equals self dot jump height minus self dot acceleration rate. And then down here at the bottom, I will also do a um, if a self dot jump height is less than zero, then self dot jump height equals zero. So that's a lot of complicated code. But theoretically, I can jump now. Or not. OK, end exposed to close. Where did I forget an end? Runner 58. Uh oh, that's at the very end. OK. There's no other else ifs that I screwed up. So I added. Um, the ands and ors may not be correct, so I may need to do um, Lua line 33. Oh, if, else, end. Okay, so it works. I can jump. This is not going to be very easy. I mean, I kind of can play the game, but um, I jump a little bit too fast. What I want to do is probably have a jump acceleration rate. So r dot jump. Um, rate equals something significantly lower than 15, like 5. OK, so up, down, space, jumping true. If jumping, uh, jump rate, jump rate. Let's try that. OK, well, I mean, it's playable now. I mean, because I can, when I jump, 
it just goes up to the top, comes down to the bottom. It's not it's not overly satisfying jumping. So I think the next thing would be making it so that when a block goes off the screen, create another block. So that would be the next thing. Because I've got this block right here. So I would like, or maybe, maybe the best thing is randomly create a block. And I probably want to use one of those, uh, well, okay, I can just do random for right now, but I'm pretty sure that what I want to do is have a random function where I should say um, local, so if, okay, uh, local, R equals um, random. Yeah, I'll just do this. If should um, create new block, then I also want to then say. I'm gonna want a table of blocks, aren't I? So blocks equals an empty table. And I'm gonna to wanna to move this up. So I can then say table.insert blocks block dot new x block dot new okay so go through that then I'm gonna want to when I draw these I have to iterate through and draw them all so let's do that down here um, for Uh, let's see, what is it? I, V, in I pairs. Blocks. Do uh, V dot uh, colon draw end. All right, I'm gonna first gonna make sure I, I get this logic working. Okay, for I, V, I, pairs, blocks, do, uh, V, it's going to be this entire thing. And so block, it'll just be the V. And, okay. Did I do this correctly? Perfect, I did. So now, I want to I can move all those and then um, update can be if should create new block then table dot insert blocks 
block.new. And should create a new block. Um, let's just local random equals love dot math dot random zero and one hundred one hundred decided dice. And then um, can I do this? Return R is greater than eighty twenty percent chance. Uh, no. Okay. Bad argument number one to insert table got expected got nil because this is blocks. Okay, so it wanted to insert. That's that's cool. Uh, not okay. Too often. A little, little bit too often. Um, okay, so if I do random, I th that should be between, let's do 0, 100, and it's greater than 99. So only 100. Okay, this is much better. So theoretically, what I could do is I, uh-oh. Hey, I could, I could technically jump over this. Interesting how they're sort of coming together in these pairs like this, which is technically possible to jump over. Uh, okay, I don't think this one I could. Um, all right, so this is cool. I don't need to hold the acceleration key anymore. I can just concentrate on just jumping in. But this is pretty awesome because I can now, I mean, I don't have the, um, I don't have a collision detection system, so I don't actually have to try to jump, but I do have the makings of a game of an infant runner where I can go around and play and jump and do all that fun stuff. So I consider this challenge completed and I did it so I can move on to the next exercise. So thank you guys so much for uh, for stopping by and uh, and watching the stream. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun. If uh, if you're new here and want to uh, want to be notified when I go when I stream, which is usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays around eight o'clock Mountain uh, Daylight Time these days, go ahead and uh, follow my channel down below. Um, I generally I, I have been working through the nature of code um, a bit, and I can I plan on continuing doing that. Yeah, absolutely, backlog. Thanks for uh, show, showing up. And uh, I plan on continuing on doing these challenges. So, yeah, jump, 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 jump. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of tweaks I'd have to make uh, to make it fun, as it were, and probably not impossible. That would probably generally be good too. But anyways, again, thank you guys for showing up. I am going to switch back to my start well I can take that there I left I had my random walk and so this is this is how far it's gotten in that entire stream anyways 
everybody, thank you for uh, stopping by. Thank you for uh, for chatting with me and um, and hanging out with me as I do these challenges. I'll see you guys next time. And click. <laughs>